Hey, John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I just, I love this email that I got. I think it's a funny situation. I mean, it's not funny if you're necessarily in this situation, but this is, this is, I've been in this situation before. I know a lot of people that have. So if you just started a job and you feel like you might need to quit it, you're, you're going to want to stay tuned here. So I got this email from Bob. I'm definitely not going to say his last name. <laughs> All right, Bob. All right. So uh, first he says, uh, first big fan of your blog, newsletter, and your Pluralsight courses. I've definitely learned quite a lot from you. All right. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate that. Uh, my reason for writing you is to see what advice you could offer about how to handle quitting a job you just started. I guess not so much the quitting part, uh, but how to handle the topic of why you want to leave a, a job, the job in an interview. It will undoubtedly come up. I definitely have my reasons. The job has not just turned out to be what I thought it was. I won't say I was lied to, but the job is definitely something other than what uh, I was led to believe. Uh, anyway, any advice you could offer would be greatly appreciated. So I've done this before, right? Uh, I've, I've signed a contract, started a new job, and then realized, oh, <laughs> I do not want to be here. I, I, need to, I need to find a better situation. And I, I think a lot of people have. Some people get stuck. They're like, whoa, I can't just quit a job that I just got a week ago. Actually, yes, you can. In fact, do it now. Like, don't quit, quit, right? Get another job. You know, you know that I'm against quitting for the sake of quitting. Like, have something lined up. But don't wait. Three months is bad, right? What you do if you quit a job that is only like a week is you just don't put it on your resume. Now, this is not lying. If someone asks you, advertise that you're at a job for one week that you didn't like, that didn't work, and it didn't match up. If it does come up in the interview, and if you don't put on your resume, I don't think it will. And honestly, like if you do it for three months, there's going to be a gap in time. But if it's one week, there won't even be a month. You know, you usually put year and month dates on your resume. Uh, a little trick here, if you have gaps, put year dates on your resume instead of month. And if they ask about months, don't lie. Never lie. But then you can be specific. But if you have month dates on your resume, if you're even going to that, that level of uh, specificity, specificity. I think that's the word. I think it's specificity. Anyway, if you have that level of detail, then a week is not going to show up. Again, do not lie if they ask you, but you know probably it's not going to come up in that case. So there, problem solved, right? Okay. So now, if it does come up, here's what you say. You just say that it didn't work out. You just say that it wasn't what you expected. And you didn't want to be in an environment that you couldn't contribute your best and, and do the best job for the company. So you want to make sure that you find the right matchup for not just for, for you, but to be able to be most effective at, at a company as well. And, and just leave it at that. Don't leave any, don't put any other reason. Don't say negative. Don't say, you know, uh, my boss, I, I didn't realize that he was not going to wear deodorant and it's really hard to sit in the cubicle all day. Whatever. Don't say any of that stuff. Don't say anything negative, right? Just try to leave it as little as possible, as detailed as possible, and, and, you know, and resist the effort. No one's going to pry into it. If they do, you're probably in the wrong place. And, you know, if they do pry into it, then you're, you're going to have to just tr still try to be, do, say good things about the company, right? Say good things about the job, say good things about the opportunity. Because when someone's interviewing you, that what you're saying about the company you're currently working at, is exactly what you're going to be saying about them and thinking about them. So that's what they think in their mind. Um, as far as just leaving the job, don't don't be afraid. I mean, you don't want to burn bridges either, right? So because a lot of times I've seen people that are, don't realize how connected, especially recruiters, different companies are in a small market, and they get blacklisted. And this is something that's not really talked about very often. But you'll know if you're blacklisted because you won't get any jobs and you, you just won't get any interviews. So you don't want to burn, and it's a very def, uh, de uh, delicate situation, right? Because you could burn someone by, you know, they just hired you for the job, and now a week later you're quitting, and you know there's complications with the recruiter and all this stuff, and money changed hands. So you just have to be, uh, you know, honest, but again, not very, very specific. Just say that you 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 don't want to lead them on, essentially, right? It's not you, it's, it's not me, it's you. No, don't, don't break up with them. But, but kind of the same advice, right? Don't, don't, uh, don't blame them, certainly. Uh, you know, say that you appreciate the opportunity. Say that you're thankful for the opportunity. This is a great 
environment, but it's just not the one for you, that you don't feel like you can be the most effective and that you know you wouldn't want to waste their time when they could find someone better that could fill this role. They're gonna be happy about that. Praise, praise, praise them about the things in the environment just to make sure that you leave on a good note. If you can suggest someone that would be a better fit, that's gonna be better because it's gonna make it, you know, it's hard to fill a spot and you know, and just apologize for 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 making the mistake. You know, take the ownership that you can and 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 try to leave that relationship intact. It's gonna you're gonna burn some bridge, right? To some degree. You know, you're gonna have some people that are gonna be upset at you, obviously, because there's a lot of effort in hiring someone and then, you know, when you immediately leave. But you're just gonna have to deal with it. It's better than doing it three months later. It's better than working in some job that you're gonna hate, right? So, you know, do, do that approach. And like I said, don't put it on your resume if it's like a week or two weeks or whatever. You know, try try to avoid that. Don't lie, but you know, but just just be honest, but but vague. You don't need to get into the details. You definitely don't need to uh, knock. Never ever say anything negative. It, that it, that can only hurt you. It can get back to the person and. Just, you know, you want to be, this is where I, you got to be very, very politically correct, correct, right? Just praise, just, you know, accept responsibility and, uh, and, and, and don't make it a big deal. Don't make it a big deal. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully that helps, uh, helps you, Bob. This is an interesting situation, right? It, it's, it's a little bit comical because, you know, we've been, a lot of people have been in this situation and, uh, and it's, you know, it's, <laughs> it, it, it stinks when you're there because it's like, well, what am I going to do now? And how am I going to deal with this? But it's not that hard and you'll get past it. Uh, definitely, you know, make sure you check things out ahead of time as best as you can. I've been hired for jobs and realized that I'm doing a different job than what I expected before. Uh, that, that kind of stinks, but you know, sometimes you got to like, like dig a little bit deeper to, to make sure that's not the case. So anyway, hopefully that helps. If you have a question that you'd like me to answer, just email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. I try to get to most of the questions and do videos on them. And if you like this video, share it. And, uh, and I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Take care. I will talk to you next time.